I, I thought this guy really didn't care about his legacy. Isn't that what he said? He did he said, say. I, oh, is he, he said, saying something that he said that, I want my damn respect too? As fuck he was told, you, man. Honestly, <laughs> god damn it. Fuck you, man. You get fucking respect. What act like you fucking been there, LeBron? Jesus Christ, man. Le- legitimately. It, Jesus Christ, will you just fucking take your fucking trophy and be happy and just fucking go come back next year and fucking try it again? Like, why do you have to be such a dick like this, man? It's like it's unbearable. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard when you find them. What's going on everybody now it's no surprise especially now for LeBron coming off his fourth championship to face unfair backlash and criticism. I mean we see it every morning with the Skip Baylesses of the world who have something new every day to say about LeBron negatively. However this actually came from the official Miami Heat podcast who I can imagine still feels salty and definitely sounds a bit salty following the Lakers win over the Heat. Now. In the video, in regards to LeBron James post-game comments about wanting his damn respect, one of the members of the podcast, as you can tell, did not hold back for a little bit as he rips LeBron for what he had to say after winning his fourth championship. Now, was this just frustration from a Miami Heat fan of losing to LeBron, or did this guy actually have a point? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.